as we continue in Matthew chapter 13 and the series of parables that Jesus tells about what the kingdom of heaven is like, today we look at verses 45 and 46. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. This is an image that's similar to the one from yesterday about the man who finds the treasure hidden in a field. Uh, in this case, uh, Jesus is using the image of a business person, somebody who is an expert in pearls and knowing their values. Uh, I don't know if you have any collectibles at your home or in your family, uh, but some people collect a wide variety of things, right? Some people collect stamps, others collect coins, some collect autographs or art or you name it. But the thing is, if someone who knows the value of whatever those collectibles are, if they come across something, they can identify, oh, this is of great value, better than anyone else, right? So if you have a coin collection, for example, and you don't know the value, uh, you don't want to just go to any generic coin dealer and say, hey, what's my coin collection worth? Because they might give you 20 cents on the dollar for what you really have. So Jesus in this parable, though, is talking about someone who knows their business, someone who is always searching for fine pearls and sees one and knows this is the greatest pearl I've ever seen in my life, and he's willing to sell everything he has just to get that one pearl because he'll never find one better. And Jesus is saying for you and for me, that's what the kingdom of heaven is like. If you really understand the value of following Jesus, of becoming more like him, of being part of the family of God, of living the way Jesus teaches us to live, of receiving the gift not only of Jesus' friendship and of his teaching and guidance, but also of his forgiveness of our sins and God raising him to new life and the power of the resurrection that if you recognize who Jesus is, all that he offers, it is so much more valuable than any worldly possession, anything else you can have in life. Jesus is saying to you and to me and to the crowds who were hearing him at the time, if you recognize who I am and all that I offer you, you'll recognize I represent the most valuable thing you'll ever come across, the kingdom of heaven. I hope that you can recognize the value of Jesus and being part of that kingdom by following Jesus. And as I'll be talking about all next week, seeking to become more like him.